you know, before we get into the video, I, I just want to say that I appreciate that there are a lot of great and down to heart, genuine black women out there who are very self aware of who they are, of their emotions, of their attitude, of their ups and downs. And we all have our flaws and we're still working on ourselves as we walk through our hero's journey. But this this message right here is very interesting and I want women to hear this if for the uh, for the percentage of the women who follow me and, and if you're a woman who can come across this page and for the men, I want you to observe, you know, and evaluate the mindset that this woman has that we're about to, you know, analyze and, and look over. So I want you to really take into consideration what this woman is saying and we're going to actually have a discussion about this. All right. So let's get into it. Data Myself Diaries, episode one. So as I've been dating myself, I just learned probably last night, I am not ready for a good man. I am not ready for a good man. I'm not talking about a halfway good man where he good at first and he switch up halfway. I'm talking about the good man from day one to the day he died. It's just in him to want to do right. That kind of a man. Because I'm so used to trying to prevent pain so used to trying to, you know what I'm saying, not get hurt, that, like, I don't know what it's like to be with somebody who ain't even thought about trying to hurt me. So it's like, I, I thought I was healed in that area. I'm learning that healing is multifaceted. There's so many layers to healing. I didn't know that. So just when you think you healed right here, some more, and this is not about being perfect when you get with somebody all the way together and all, but it is some baggage left that another person shouldn't have to help you unpack. It should just be between you and God. And I'm like, dang, I'm glad that I'm seeing that. But I'm making this video, like I'm just putting my whole journey out there to help people realize like, what if it's not always them? It's you too. Like I've been learning some stuff was me, but like, it's you too. You keep choosing the wrong people, then be mad when you get hurt. Like for real, men and women, we both do it. So it's like, Sitting out intentionally and dating you and bettering your relationship with God is like a force that cannot be reckoned with because God going to highlight stuff in you and show you stuff with you. He going to reveal what he needs to heal so you can give it to him because God not going to force you to heal. You got to put that work and you got to give him, give him that hurt so he can heal it. You probably didn't even know some, some areas of hurt was love. I didn't know even so he showed me. I was like, dang, that still sting. It still hurt. If it still bother you, it still hurt. It, it, it need to be healed. I'm like, God, Lee, I didn't, I didn't know that. And I was like, wow. So now that I know it, I'm so glad because now with my decision, like y'all ever made a decision that you thought in your mind, like maybe that's too drastic and all. This confirmed my decision. Like when he spoke last time, I'm like, okay, this confirmed it. Y'all remember when I said the other day that the blessing is already ready. The weight is getting you ready for the blessing. Like it's really resonating with me now. I'm like, God, I'm so glad that you ain't let nothing work out of my past. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they were never bad guys. Nobody ever dealt with in my past. We're not bad guys. They just were not the guys for me. You know what I'm saying? Like love all versions of you, the old you, the now you, the new you. You know what I'm saying? Because we all have done stuff to people. Ain't nobody, you know what I'm saying? I ain't making no excuses or justification for some stuff that's happened to me. But hey, hurt people hurt people. But I love to say that healed people heal people. And now I'm putting that work in. I don't do the blame game. And now that I'm here, I'm just not ready. And that's okay. It's, I'm, I'm fine with saying no. I don't want to go here. I don't want to talk. I'm fine with that. But, you know, I'm just putting myself out there for the men and women that, that watch me. Are you really ready? What's some stuff that you can work on before you get with your person? Now, before we analyze this video, for people who follow me, you know, I always make the statement that I do not agree when whenever somebody on social media displays their trauma or project their trauma on people for the worse and tell them to basically cast away uh, their options when it concerns dating or whatever the case is, right? But in this scenario here, you have this woman who is not really going in on her actual ex experience all the way, but she's making a journal. She's using a testimony or she's, you know, using her personal experience to make a life lesson out of to encourage w women and men who are watching her to basically do better for themselves and, and be true and real with themselves, you know, and. You know, dealing with her background, she might be Christian. So she talked about how like her relationship with God and, and getting in tune with, you know, you know, her spiritual relationship with God and how basically like if it still hurts you, you still need to heal. 
right? And these revelations that she's getting, she don't even realize that she's tapping into the inner God within herself. But <laughs> we could save her that conversation for another time for another day. But I thought this was very, very well put, very articulated, very, very down to the core on a lot of the issues that a lot of us have when it concerns relationships. A lot of us can't look in the mirror and look at ourselves and be like, we're not ready for relationships. A lot of us will say, oh, I'm not ready to be with anybody right now, whatever the case is, right? And we'll cast ourselves off. We'll be off in the distance, but we have personified ourselves with our hurt. We have personified ourselves with our trauma. We, we've had, we've been so hurt so many times, or we've been so used to the feeling of hurt that we have made it, we, we've made it our identity. And so now we get to a point where we begin to project our hurt and our trauma to other people. We begin to generalize other people. Or oh, this is why women are like this. And when the women who are hurt, this is why men are like this. And this is why I can't stand y'all. And, the, and you see this all throughout TikTok and all throughout Twitter and all throughout different platforms of social media. And you see a lot of hurt, a lot of trauma. You see a lot of bickering and no healing. There's no conversation about what we need to do individually as better people to find better people <laughs> you know she was talking about at the very end hurt people hurt people but healed people heal people you know and if i have the right motive if i have healed if i've been through the process to be a better person to be a good person then i by nature and by you know the way that the the universe operates i will find the right person you know, if I go in and look for that person, seek and ye shall find, ask and you shall have, you know, and, you know, when it concerns that process, that that mentality, that thinking, you always have to keep in mind that you are what you attract, how you perceive things in the mind is, is what becomes your reality. If you think that you're never going to find that good person it's going to become your reality. For this woman in this case, she's not saying that there aren't good people out there. She's saying that she's just not ready for it because she still has to work on herself. And that, by all means, is fine. For for somebody to come to the realization that I still need to heal, that there are certain things about myself that I still need to critique, that I still need to mold into something better and, and, and you know, resolve instead of trying to cast this burden onto another person. That's the realest thing I've heard all day. But there are a lot of women and men out here who feel like that their wounds are like tattoos. They're like cool scars and they walk around, you know, and they 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 boast about it on social media about how many times they've been hurt. And 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 modern day women and all these men, all these men, ain't it, all this type of stuff. They, they boast. They boast about these scars, you know, but nobody ever boasts about healing the scars. We boast about how we're going to divest. We, we boast about how we're going to separate, how we're going to get our passports, and how we're we going to separate. We, we, we ain't dealing with these women no more. We ain't dealing with these men no more. And, and y'all, y'all boast. Y'all, y'all just showing all y'all scars. It's, it's disgusting. Like, it, it, it's infected, fam. You, you, you might want to get that checked out. You, you might want to get some psychological. Nah, man, these, these women, these, just, that's just how they are. That's how these women are. No, fam. That you're. you're your your scar isn't even red. It's turning green, yellow. Like you, you might want to get that checked. Nah, man, you, that's how these women are, man. That's how the modern day women are for you. And that's how it and the the cycle continues. You know, it's, it's so sad. You know, and so I appreciate women like this who can come down to a conclusion on what she needs to do. What she needs to do in terms of healing and dealing with herself. You know, so. Shout out to her. Um, this was episode one of her healing process or her dating myself diary. So I don't know what many other episodes that she may have. I might have to go on TikTok and cease. But um, shout out to her. And let's have a discussion about this in the comment section below. Let me know how you personally feel about this topic at hand. How do you personally feel about the scenario here concerning, you know, dating and relationships and healing, going through the process of healing so that you can be with the right person, you know? So let's have a conversation about this in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video with other people. Until next time, I'm Tyrone and I am out.